Thousands gathered on Monday in the city of Diyarbakir to mark the start of the Kurdish New Year, or Nevroz, and commemorate the deaths of Kurds killed in months-long clashes between the state and the Kurdish militants. But the mood was markedly different from the mass celebrations of previous years. Last year, peace talks between the Turkish state and militants of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, or PKK, were ongoing, and there was hope for a solution. But for the past seven months, security forces and militants have again been fighting in the region, and Diyarbakir has seen its share of violence. Parts of the city remain under curfew as clashes move from one neighborhood to another. During Nevroz, Kurdish politicians made calls to return to the negotiation table and continue where the talks left off in July. Residents, too, say they are exhausted. Almost everyone knows someone in the city who died in the clashes. Of more than 1,000 deaths from the violence since late July, more than 250 are civilians, human rights organizations say. Both sides blame each other. <laughs> This neighborhood, called Balar, is where police and militants clashed for almost a week. It emerged from under curfew on the day of Nevroz, but many tenants just packed and left, fearing new clashes. DR Booker officials reject accusations of extreme use of force, saying all these weapons, explosives and ammunition were seized from the militants in the city's Balar district alone, illustrating the scope of the resistance the police were facing. This DR Booker resident says he has moved twice already to escape the violence. <laughs> Due to the hard times, many residents boycotted Navroz, thinking it was inappropriate and hoping for better times next year.